I just thought I'd show everybody my Armor Guard holster products collection. Um, the first holster I purchased from Pete when he was first starting to make holsters was this 1911 SR Ruger SR 1911 excuse me and it was an outside the waistband and I used it a couple times for um, IDPA just to give it a shot and it worked really well I can also use it for my GSG 1911 however the retention is not as good because it's not custom made for this and this Ruger uh, SR 1911 just a little bit larger than this GSG so it'll come out if you shake it enough but overall it works on a pinch because I don't usually I'm only out uh, doing a little bit of plinking with this in the indoor range so it doesn't hurt to nobody's gonna come up and steal my 22 caliber <laughs> but like it and then see, I liked it so much that I decided when I got my carry permit to start uh, get an inside the waistband and Pete made me this one for my Glock 17 it's inside the waistband I got a no D green because I was getting tired of a whole, having a whole safe full of black holsters and, uh, and it was difficult to tell them apart so now it's not hard to tell which one is for my Glock 17 however this one stays in the holster most of the time because this is the carry piece and I have it I, even though I keep it in the safe at night it is locked and loaded and ready to go usually it's not right now you see I took the mag out but and I also, just for shits and giggles, I did purchase a mag carrier because, you know, one is 17 rounds. Might not be enough. You need another 17. So it's an inside the waistband mag carrier, and it works well. I have not carried it a lot, so I don't have a, whether it's comfortable or not. But it, um, it does the trick, holds the mag well, doesn't fall out. This one's not loaded. Um, but you can see that uh, very quality product and I did see in his recent video that now he's putting a uh, lip on here to make it easier to reholster but if I'm reholstering the mag I'm not in a hurry because it's whatever I would be doing would be done <laughs> so it's not important for me to have to be able to reholster my uh, backup mag but this is one of his earlier models and it's an OD green uh, to match Glock 17. Looks, there, it looks a little funny with the light, but there it is. It matches. And now for the final holster that I just purchased. Uh, I should say my wife purchased for Christmas for me. And that is the We the People holster pattern in uh, Kydex. And it's an outside the waistband too because why would you want to stick something so beautiful down your pants? <laughs> so this is a uh, for my Beretta 9mm 92FS and it's an Inox one so it's uh, I'm gonna consider this to be my barbecue setup and uh, use this holster and this firearm uh, on those special occasions when uh, you can show things off a little bit and not worried about concealing and this Beretta it's not something you want to carry around too often because it's, it's heavy it is a really good shooter but it is heavy to carry around but there it is we the people retention also very good nice and tight pattern looks good second amendment uh, holster for the Constitution something to be proud of so that's why I got it as soon as I seen Pete had these uh, advertised in one of his videos I knew I had to get one so that completes my collection of armor guard holsters I hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, I have links so you can contact Pete, his email, his phone number, and his website. So you can find out whether he has the gun you want. But like this one, the Beretta, he didn't have this gun. He had uh, the longer version. This is a compact model. And he took mine just in to um, make, the, uh, make sure everything would fit well. I brought the gun down to him because I live nearby. And he got it working. So I know he knows the measurements now. So I imagine if you have a 92FS compact, even though it's not on the website, I think he has the measurements down pat that he can make one for you too. So give him a call. I think you'll 
enjoy the quality and enjoy the uh, the effort that Pete puts into making these holsters. Uh, it's a fine job, and it's nice to have something custom. So that's it. Smile Money, signing off. Thanks for watching. Bye.